It's become a well-established and distressing pattern. Summertime and the boat crossings surge. This summer has also brought a new government. First on their agenda was scrapping the threat of deporting migrants to Rwanda. But how to deter those willing to make this dangerous and sometimes deadly journey? The Home Secretary is promising more raids on businesses who employ people who don't have the right to work here, singling out car washes and the beauty sector as targets. Many salon owners support clamping down on competitors who don't follow the law. Sadly, apart from the modern slavery, we know that's happening all around us. It's a massive impact on small businesses because they tend to undercut pricing, they're cash-only salons, um, and they, they don't do a very good job. And a lot of the time, it's salons like mine that are clearing up the mess, and then also you have to deal with the customers saying, well, why are you so expensive? In recent years, immigration enforcement has been ramping up efforts to detain people working here illegally. There were over 6,700 raids between spring 2023 and 2024, almost 60% up on the previous 12 months, and almost 80% up on figures at the start of 2022. The Home Secretary says those employing migrants without a right to work here fuel the trade of illegal gangs, but campaigners are concerned about the focus on raids. Rather than focusing on protection and safeguarding, they've gone into this enforcement and, you know, trying to be tough on so-called illegal migration. Um, what we would really like them to focus in on is think about more regularization routes so people who are in that really precarious situation, how they can move out of those situations. Taking Rwanda off the table, the Prime Minister has promised a new team of officers to combat people smuggling gangs. But thousands of people are still arriving in small boats. The government has pledged to remove more of those who make it here. But as their predecessors found, this is a promise that can prove very hard to keep. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Derby.